Yeah, you earned this, eh? This exciting. Hey everyone, Thord and Smash here, and with all the news around Ash becoming our Season 11 legend, all the links, all the connects, all the game files, it's time to start talking about Blisk coming to the Apex Legends games, as there is a ton of evidence and a ton of stuff in the files that indicates he is coming, and it looks like he may be coming very soon after Ash as well, from everything that we can see. The first big thing to go over, in case anyone isn't aware and is wondering who Blisk is, is he is the main antagonist in Titanfall 2, which is a game that that actually predated Apex Legends and led to the creation of it, as he is also the founder of the Apex Legends games. And people have been clamoring for more Blisk ever since we last saw him in Titanfall 2 and a little bit in the teasers for stories from the Outlands. Now to truly understand why Blisk is coming to Apex Legends, you need to look at all the evidence we have from the beginning of the game. And the first one is this playtest image right here. And it's from testing from back in season one or two. And as you can clearly see, this it has the correct information on future legends with Crypto, Revenant, Loba, Rampart, and Valk, and Downfall was actually turned into a legend, and clearly we also have Blisk right there. Now back when all that was happening, the one mining guy, one of the original data miners for Apex Legends, actually found a ton of stuff in the files in regards to future legends, and we have our main legends there with Bloodhound, Bangalore, Caustic, Gibraltar, all of them, but the upcoming ones is important. We can clearly see he got Crypto right, Revenant right, Loba right, Rampart right, Valk right, Downfall, I cannot remember if it became Fuse or Horizon, but it was one of the two, but we also see Blisk right there. Now you can look at all those images and say, well, those are from the beginning of the game, some of the first stuff that was data mined, maybe they completely scrapped him, and that is also not the case. You see, on Sunday, May 24th of 2020, Bias12 showed us the newest for his abilities that were in the files and that they weren't updating the ability files for the leaked legends and season five was what was going on during this post. Respawn had put in a ton of information in the game files for Blisk. Everything from banner frames that were legendary, common, epic, and rare to intro quips, kill quips, executions, and it even had a list of his abilities with a tactical, an ultimate, and a passive. And his ultimate was something called comms payday, which would give you credits if you killed an enemy, which ended up becoming the replicators. That is a ton of information for Respawn to put into the game files for a character that they have no intention of ever bringing to the games. Why would you add cosmetics? Why would you make a list of abilities? And why would you add in kill quips and execution files? You wouldn't because, well, let's be honest, Respawn already has a bad track record of uploading patches into the game and them crashing. Why add unnecessary files? But there's even more leaks even further on in the seasons that once again, point to bliss. Just before season seven launched, we got some leaked screenshots of the upcoming season along with future legends, as you can see here. And it was very much correct. We got Valk, which was right. We got Horizon, which was the next legend. It had Fuse and Pariah, which became Seer. And on that list is Ash, who we seem to be getting for season 11. And on there is also Blisk. And shortly after all this information with that leaked screenshot came out, Bias12 actually showed some information from an internal play test that he got a hold of. And it shows a Blisk ultimate, which makes a lot of sense because Blisk's old ultimate became the crafting station or something similar. This leak would be very hard to fake for a couple of reasons. One, you would need to somehow put in an auto central Titan into Apex Legends and make it drop with the Lifeline Care Package asset. On top of that, this is being tested on the Nintendo Switch, so if you can somehow figure out how to get a Auto Sentry Titan onto the Nintendo Switch firing range of Apex Legends and test it with the Lifeline asset for the Care Package, this is something that isn't even in the modded version of Apex Legends because it's just not doable by a user. Now, Respawn may have given it to the internal playtester as a bamboozle, but I definitely think it's more along the lines of Respawn has continued to work off of Blisk's old abilities and looking for ways to add him into the game. There's always that one guy out there that says, well, Respawn said they're never gonna be adding Titans to the game, and you are correct. They are not putting in Titans. This is not a pilotable ultimate. You cannot get in it and drive it around. This is is a century and as you can see in the article they are completely different from titans in fact in that clip of that auto sentry dropping down it only faces one direction fires forward and pretty much just gives suppressing fire 
Sounds like we could finally get that support legend we've been asking for for so long. Overall, it is clearly evident that Apex Legends and Respawn has worked on Blisk in the past, and they've even continued to work on different ways of bringing him to the game. They've never given up on the idea at all, and it would definitely seem that this is something that we are going to see after the inclusion of Ash as we are now getting Titanfall 2 characters. Let me know down in the comments below, do you want Blisk to come in? What do you think about the skill sets that Respawn has been working on? And until next time, Legends, keep slaying the Outlands, and I'll see you out there.